Hi everyone, I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Monday, coming at you with a half case from a fresh case. The brand new-ish, I think this came out last Friday, brand, brand new-ish 2021-22 Panini Prism Basketball, six box, half case, pick your team number three. Really nice stuff, all card ship. You know, Prism, all, always a popular release for all the different sports, especially football and basketball. There's the full case right here in all its glory. Thanks everyone for making this happen. Thanks everyone right here. Whether you got your team straight up or whether you were part of the uh, the team random filler, however you got in, I appreciate it. All right, now, let's actually slide this back a little and make myself a little room. So we've got six on the left side right here, right? And then six on the right side right here. So we're gonna select a die. We're gonna select that one right there. And we'll go one, two, three for the left six, four, five, six for the right six. Six. So we're gonna do the right side here. And this side, we will save for uh, pick your team four. Oh, kind of hard to actually you can see it right here. We'll mark these four so we know that it's for pick your team four. And there's a good chance we could run this back tonight, so I'll just keep it on the desk behind me. And these are the six we're going to do on this side. Good luck, everybody. Just before we start this video, uh, we were chatting a little bit about the prospects of uh, basketball returning to, to Seattle. And Doug was saying that, that it's, I mean, we're getting a lot closer than we have been in years. And apparently an NBA president just off the record was saying they're just waiting about 18 months maybe for, the, for, the, for a new TV deal and a CBA to go through. Because right, because of the it'll you see a lot more value with thirty-two teams. Doug's also mentioning some of the Kraken owners may jump in on the Sonics too. Right, most likely they'd be they'd be playing at that arena to at least to start. Maybe they'd sharing it would would help. I heard Gary Payton Senior might might get in on it. I think he's been pretty adamant about that. Yeah, imagine if Bezos gets involved. Although I've heard rumblings that owners, because I think Bezos has attempted to buy a football team, has attempted to buy um, a baseball team. And apparently the ownership group, <laughs> at least what I've heard, these are, these are like off the record rumblings, but... Apparently ownership doesn't want Bezos in their their little club. So I think he'd be uh, probably far and away the richest owner of all of those guys. So I don't know, maybe it's, there's an ego thing there. All right. Good luck everybody. Remember all card ship, that's nice. And our first autograph is Rookie Auto, Sensational Signatures, Jaden Springer. So Doug saying all these comments kind of stem from commentary were made to John Cazano, big sports person.
personality report in Oregon who was told that when asking if Portland would move if they got sold, the president said no because the Blazers weren't able to move to Seattle anyway because of the Seattle-Vegas were going to be expansion. Does that make sense? Like the nice clean design of Prism. Steph Curry, 60 out of 60, orange, wave. Tobias Harris, Red Wave, and Drew Holiday, Blue to 199. Now, what's going on in Portland? Are there, aren't they? Isn't ownership looking to sell? And Damian Lillard, actually speaking of Portland, got. A nice well, little two-year extension, I think. Patty Mills to 299. That'll be for the Nets. That's going to go to Stephen Flat. Where's Kevin Durant going to go, ladies and gentlemen? Where's Kyrie going to go? I feel like uh, I feel like the Lakers are still being talked about as as a possible landing spot for Kyrie. I don't, I don't know how that's going to happen. They're going to have to get like three or four different teams involved and be a lot of moving pieces there. I think it's kind of optimistic, but still out there. It's Jeremiah Robinson Earl, Franz Wagner. Orlando with France, that's Jonathan, 63 out of 99, and rookie silvers are always nice here, OKC, that's going to go to Jeff. Markel Fultz to 149. Nice Evan Mobley. Just a base. Still nice, though. That it's for Cleveland. That'll be for Bryant. So we can find some color, some parallels, maybe some ink. Is Quentin Grimes is one of the guys you're looking for? Adam and the Knicks. Here's Robert Williams. Third to 199. That's for Boston. That's for Logan. And the autograph. Some of you saw the logo. There it is. Detroit Pistons. Luke Garza. Detroit. Detroit Pistons. Jeff with the Pistons. It's a team to look out for. The next few years or so. I really like this uh, this Giannis. That's just a Giannis base, but I like the way that looks. All card shit, but it's a nice looking card. So Doug is saying, so legally from Paul Allen's will, Blazers wouldn't be, or sorry, the Blazers Seahawks have to be sold at some point as the money is earmarked for philanthropy projects, but unsure on the legal timetable of when it needs to happen, but eventually it will. Interesting, yeah. It's interesting too. What's going to happen with those teams? Drew, what's up? Um, I have no idea. Uh, I think that's up to up to how fast Leaf wants to help us out. But we'll let you know as soon as as soon as we know. I thought they'd be here by now, but we'll follow we'll follow up.
Kind of a weird bend to some of these cards right here. Next box. Get a little AC going here. All right. Next box. Good luck. Got Kendrick Nunn to 99. It'll be good to see Kendrick Nunn. Actually play some games for the Lakers. That'd be nice. It'd be like a new free agent. Feels like a new free agent sign. It'll go to uh, Logan with my Lakers. Got a Blake Griffin, Blue Ice to 125. Derek Rose, Pulsar, not numbered. D'Angelo Russell to 149. Has there been any uh, any big NBA news recently? Not sure. Gallinari, two-year deal with the Celtics. James Weissman is back. John Wall went to the Clippers. Uh, this guy, Juan Toscano Anderson, on, on my uh, Lakers. Still good. This, this one still goes to the Warriors, Sean Maddock. But I think next year's set, obviously, we'll see him in the Lakers uni. Which hopefully he'll provide some... Uh, ooh, nice Oscar Robertson. Milwaukee. That's going to be for Sean on. Eleven out of twenty-five. Nice, some great penmanship there from the old timer. It's Chris, I kind of like this. I think these are a little more common, but silver version of that Chris Paul. Nice Josh Giddy, Jalen Suggs, Red Wave, Isaiah Jackson for the Pacers. That's going to go to Jeremy. Jalen Suggs. Orlando could have a pretty exciting team if it all clicks. Josh Giddy, of course. Okay, see Jeff with that one. Maybe an injury away from midseason injury away from competing for the Rookie of the Year last year. There's John Stockton. Behind him is Aaron Baines. Toronto Raptors sensational signature. That's gonna go to it's gonna go to DC. Doug and the Toronto Raptors won that spot in the filler. Logan has the jazz, we'll get to John Stockton. Widescreen LeBron right here, silver. I think those always have a little extra boost in value. Oh no. Boo. Boo Aaron Baines. Boo because he's a Washington State guy. That's not Doug's team.
Another Evan Mobley, a JT Thor. For Charlotte, Brian. And another Evan Mobley base for Brian. That centering looks a little bit better than the other one. We got a blue Theo Maladon, 29 out of 199. And we got James Booknight. Booknight? Bonite? Booknight. 75 years in the NBA insert. I think these are a little bit more shorter printed than some of the others. Inserts. It goes to Charlotte. That'll be for Brian. It's pretty slippery. Let me put them away. Kelly Olenek, Nikola Jokic, 104 out of 299. He's pretty good. Speaking of Jokic, did I, did I see or hear a maybe, maybe this is too crazy. Maybe this was some ESPN talking head that maybe brought this up, but I feel like I heard someone re relatively credible, not just some kid on Twitter, someone relatively credible talking about Kevin Durant to Denver being a possibility? I thought the Suns were an early favorite, but I haven't really heard much from there, much after that. Let's see. Top stories according to hoopsrumors.com. The play-in tournament expected to become a regularly scheduled event. I think that's a good idea. I don't mind the play-in tournament. Pacers continue to eye DeAndre Ayton. Does that mean a Miles Turner trade is on the horizon? Who knows? Or in addition to dot, dot, dot. Knicks trading Nerlens Noel and Alec Burks to the Pistons. And they got their man, right? They got uh, they got the guy, the guard, Jalen Brunson from Dallas. Gallinari signing the two-year deal with the Celtics. Nets re-signed Claxton and Patty Mills. Kayvon Looney signed a three-year deal with the Warriors. We talked about the Damian Lillard extension. Della Vadova apparently auditioning for the Kings. We do have some summer league action. Is that a more of appropriate background noise than uh, than this baseball game? Maybe. All right, next box. Good luck, everybody. There's Van Vliet to 149 for the Raptors. And we got his teammate, Scotty Barnes. That's your Rookie of the Year, Doug, with the Toronto Raptors. Dino, DNA. Interesting. Adam is reporting that the Nets season ticket ad showed KD, but not Kyrie. Their first Cade Cunningham. I guess a trade, a KD trade, if that even materializes, would probably include the likes of him. Jeff with Detroit gets the Cade Cunningham. Davion Mitchell. Kings, that's going to go to Jeff as well. Try to find some color for these guys. There's Jonathan Kaminga doing some summer league, looking good. There's Boban to 299. That's for Dallas. That's for Ryan. 
and the Kuminga will will be for Sean Maddock and the Warriors. Apparently James Weissman looking good too. Warriors don't need extra help, do they? There's my guy Austin Reeves. Let's go Austin Reeves. Quentin Grimes, rookie silver. That's for Adam and his Knicks, kind of his Knicks. Let's root for Quentin Grimes, Austin Reeves. I'm not sure if he even deserves the sleeve treatment, but a little Lakers bias for uh, Logan Smith. It's pretty cool, that white screen Donovan Mitchell. And Tony Parker, classic. Sensational signatures for the Spurs. That's going to be for Jesse Arcos with San Antonio. Monty Morris, 299. Luka Doncic, 75 years in the NBA insert for Dallas. Dallas, Ryan with Dallas. Monty Morris is going to Denver. That'll be for Sean Maddock. It's 299. Dorian Finney Smith. D Wade, 5 out of 75. Red cracked ice for Miami. Matthew Shira, the spot that he won. That's pretty cool. I just you see the diamond NBA logo right there in the background. To 75. Makes sense. Looks good. Vince Carter Silver. Jay Sean Tate to 125. My Lakers. None of their none of those moves matter unless this guy is completely healthy, or at least healthy through the playoffs. Jay Sean Tate to 125 for the Rockets, by the way. Han. They could get Kyrie. You know, they could piece together pieces around him, but it's not gonna matter unless he's Yes, he's, he's the key. Paul Millsap, here comes the next autograph. There's KD, there's Jaden Springer. Sensational signatures rookie autograph for Philly. That's gonna be for Bennett. Won that team in the filler. Gobert, Zach Levine, Trey Young. All right, we are halfway through this half case break. Three more to go. Good luck. So where does where does Kyrie go? Where does Kevin Durant go, if, if anywhere? A little annoying because I feel like I, I feel like that kind of kind of jams up the, the free agency window, right? Now everyone's just waiting on, well, we gotta wait for the, the Kyrie KD dominoes to fall before other teams are ready to, you know, they gotta make their decision before they're ready to, before the rest of the off season can really proceed. Because other teams may have had their plans ready to go and then all of a sudden they're like, wait, 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 wait. KD's available? Well, we gotta try. I throw a hat in the ring. Doug saying Lakers need to get rid of LeBron. Get back to building well-rounded teams. Yeah. I mean, eventually he's not going to be able to play forever. 
I think the Lakers knew exactly what they what, what was going to happen when they brought LeBron in the first place. You're you're going to spend that LeBron window trying to win now. So we all knew that going into it. But I don't think they're getting rid of LeBron anytime soon. Eventually, he'll sign out. El- he'll be a free agent. He'll re-sign elsewhere. Or finish his career as a Laker. After that, there's KD right there. <laughs> then the Lakers worry about, well, what's the what's post-LeBron world going to look like? It's going to be tough. They've mortgaged a lot of picks over the years for various players. So it'll be a challenge for the front office for sure. But believe it or not, Lakers have actually done pretty well you know, with with uncovering some diamonds in the rough, so I'm sure they'll be able to figure it out. Dwayne Bacon to 60. Nice Jalen Suggs. Part of a, could be part of a big youth movement in Orlando. That's for Jonathan. to 149, C.J. McCollum. <laughs> well, hey, title's a title. I assure you, there, there are a few championships where, you know, where you can say they... There wasn't. You can always attach some sort of excuse to any title. Well, they didn't have this guy. Well, that was when it was a two-three-two format. Well, that was before they had the extra playoff teams. It's Moses Moody, thirteen out of twenty-five. That'll be for Sean Maddock and the Warriors. Sean, you'll also get this Moses Moody as well. Theo Maladon, DeMar DeRozan Blue to 199. That will be for Chicago. That's for EA and the Bulls. Franz Wagner, another, another part of that young Orlando team that could be pretty interesting in a couple years. Another Cade Cunningham, THT. Regressed a little bit last year, THT, but hopefully he'll progress this year. Logan and my Lakers. And Jeff has Detroit. And Alvin Hayes for the old bullets. That's going to be for Matthew Shira and the current Wizards. Yeah, it is a shame. But there's Davion Mitchell. Some argue that that. You know, some would argue that playing, not playing in front of fans was actually a bigger challenge. I don't know. You don't get the same lift. I don't know. Does that end up being a net neutral road, road in a way, home in a way, that is? Franz Wagner, hyper parallel for Jonathan and the Magic. And Jeremiah Robinson Earl, J-R-E, for OKC, Jeff. I want to say, 
hold on. First of all, here's Keldon Johnson for the Spurs to 99. Rasheed Wallace, I'm pretty sure, is Rasheed Wallace. What's Rashid Wallace doing these days? I thought. Ah, okay. Um, I'm pretty sure Rashid Wallace is a bench coach for the Lakers now. So that, that Rashid Wallace goes to Matthew in Portland. But I'm almost sure, certain that Lakers coach Darvin Ham uh, added him to the bench. It's not on his Wikipedia yet, but. But I'm looking forward. I don't. I don't know. Uh, he's been coaching for a little bit too. I think he's been he bounced around as a coach here and there. So he's. I feel like Rasheed Wallace, that'd be fun to have as a coach. I feel like I want to hear him yell, ball don't lie, to like to some players from the bench, from the coaching bench. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, Bobby Witt Jr. Having a great season in real time, that's for sure. All right, what's our summer league game here? Dallas, Utah. Looks like they just started. Dallas won, Utah three. Yeah, I was just gonna say if it wasn't for if it wasn't for uh, Julio Rodriguez, I think Bobby Wood Jr. might be your uh, your your rookie of the year candidate. Favor your rookie of the year favor, but Julio Rodriguez is having. Been having a great season. Julio Rodriguez might get of the Mariners. Seattle Mariners may get MVP vote. I don't think he's going to get close, but he might get an MVP vote here and there. Maybe from some, uh, maybe some from some uh, Pacific Northwest riders may throw a, a vote in there, a vote or two there. There's Reggie Jackson to 125 for the Clippers. That's going to be for uh, Tanavat. Another Evan Mobley, Devin Booker Silver. That's for Brian in Cleveland. I want to find like a silver of that Evan Mobley. DeAndre Jordan, nice purple ice. LeBron James, 65 out of 149. It's a nice little color match there, purple and gold. Lakers, Logan. I want to say LeBron James parallel still, I think relatively speaking, still still do pretty well in the secondary market. Franz Wagner. Got a white screen, Nikola Jokic, and Cameron Thomas is your rookie auto for the Brooklyn Nets. Cameron Thomas doesn't know. That's Stephen Flat with the Nets. Cameron Thomas doesn't know if he's going to be playing with KD and Kyrie or not. Who knows? Maybe he'll be running the entire show. Daniel Tice to 199. Here's Jerry West. Speaking of Jerry West, ladies and gentlemen, uh, spent a little bit of my time off. Uh, caught up with uh, winning time. 
finally. I, I think I watched the first two episodes and then kind of slacked a little bit. Han with Houston. We'll get this Alpern Sangoon as well. Yeah, I'm not sure either, Joe. The, the, that 75th anniversary insert says Optic on it. Just an insert choice that they made, I suppose. It's Jamal Murray to 299. Let's see if we can find a... Oh, is it a pre... Matt Silverstein saying it's a preview? That they slipped into prison? Okay. Here's another look at it right here. Uh, I enjoyed Winning Time. Obviously, a lot of a lot a lot of the truth has been stretched a little bit in Winning Time, but I thought it was a I thought it was an entertaining watch. There's Gordon Hayward, 75. Joe P. While you're here, uh, he, Joe P. As most of you know, our resident Suns fan, big fan of the Suns and all Phoenix sports. Um, what's the What's the deal with KD? All the early all the early reports seem to have KD pegged to go to Phoenix, but I feel like that, well, I guess just the rumors in general have kind of quieted down a little bit. It's Josh Giddy. Of course, now there's another twist. I feel like I read the other day that Kevin Durant has not been answering phone calls, allegedly according to like ESPN reports and insiders. It's Josh Giddy for OKC. And Kevin Durant hasn't really talk to executives or talk with other teams at all? There he is. Which, which doesn't sound... What, what is his mindset? Right? So some are speculating maybe he doesn't really want to move. That it's a different play. You know? If you're actively trying to get to another team, you'd be selling yourself. You'd be recruiting. Pitching yourself to other teams. There's Miles Turner. That's for Jeremy and the Pacers. And, and now the Pacers, I think, so what happens to Miles Turner if the Pacers land DeAndre Aiden, which I saw on HoopsRumors.com? Silver, Matt, Matt's thinking the Phoenix should have just extended DeAndre Aiden. What are you gonna do, Katie? What's what's the play? The rest of the the rest of the league's waiting. They're trying to make some moves. It's Trey Murphy the third for the Pelicans. Last box coming up. Second half in the store, ladies and gentlemen. If you're watching the stream right now, there's a, there's a special deal on that second half. That's a tonight only situation. So check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Kyrie and KD holding the NBA offseason hostage. No one's going to know what, uh, what other moves can be made until those two... Those two dominoes fall. <laughs> yeah, Doug, that's not a bad idea. If you've been watching this first half and you're like, oh, that, that team hasn't hit anything in this half. Maybe they're in the second half. They moved Rudy Gobert. That was another bit of news. So he's with the Timberwolves now. Interesting. That, that's a pretty good pairing with Carl Anthony Towns, no? 
He was traded in exchange for Patrick Beverly, Malik Beasley, Jared Vanderbilt, Leandro Bolmaro, and the draft rights to center Walker Kessler, in addition to four first round picks and a 2026 first round pick swap. Seems like a lot, doesn't it? But I think he I think he should pair well with Carl Anthony Towns. <laughs> Danny Ainge theft occurred again. Seems like a lot, right? What happened? Like I'm, re I thought it was a lot less than that. <laughs> For a 30-year-old, I mean, he's pretty, he's good. Don't get me wrong. That just, wow. Just reading it out loud like that. At first, I was like, oh yeah, that's that's a good deal. I really didn't think much of it. Maybe I just only saw it go across the ticker. But now that I'm reading off all the assets that were moved. That's it. Four first round picks? Four? Am I reading this right, Matt? I'm reading the Wikipedia. Gobert, just one dude. Gobert was traded to the Timberwolves in exchange for Beverly, Beasley, Vanderbilt, Leandro Balmora, and the rights to Walker Kessler. In addition to four first round picks, and a 2026 first round pick swap? So you got at least a couple of, wow. God, wow. So they've got already, I mean, Beverly, Malik Beasley, Vanderbilt, those are like, those guys contribute meaningful minutes, you know? So they've already got people to fill out the roster. You got young guys like Walker Kessler, and then you got four four of Minnesota's first, even if it's like, even if it's like, what? You know, Minnesota's hoping they're gonna be late first round picks, right? The Jazz are hoping they're maybe middle first round picks, which, would, which won't be that bad. I like Gobert, I like how he fits on the Timberwolves for, but maybe not for that, that kind of haul. Right, I'll, have, I'll let me finish this break. I'll look up Gobert's salary. Matt saying what they got to pay him forty-seven million dollars in a few years. That Jalen Brown goes to Logan and the Celtics. And they're what? They're probably not going to play both of those guys in the fourth quarter. I mean, if they can make that work, that'd be cool though. Maybe Rudy Gobert doesn't have to feel like he's the big man that has to contribute offensively as much. He could play defensively. Let Carl Anthony Towns go to work. I don't know. They're thinking like a Twin Towers situation, or are they thinking like David Robinson, Tim Duncan kind of situation there? There's Luca Garza. I was hoping it'd be his teammate. But no, this will go to Jeff in Detroit. Chris Duarte for the Pacers. That's for Jeremy and his Pacers. There's a Starberry for the Phoenix Suns. That's for Jeff. That's to 199. There's Anthony Edwards. There's Paul George. There's, speaking of the Jazz, Jared Butler. Well, Jazz, Jazz have a lot of assets now. Logan Smith with the Jazz won that team in the filler. Well, there's so now Anthony Edwards, along with Rudy Gobert and Carl Anthony Towns. Let's see how that works out. All right, last little stack right here. Another Evan Mobley, the Sonmu, Red Wave.
Don't, don't drink and drive, Devontae Graham. Little DWI four days ago. 0.11? can't do that. Don't drink and drive, folks. Terrence Davis is second. Markel Fultz to 199. Bruce Brown. And that, my friend, is that? Got a Charles Basie, red to 299 for Philadelphia. Simmons, Alexander Walker, Kawhi Leonard, and Andre Drummond. There you have it, boys and girls. That was the first half of this full case. This is Pick Your Team 3. Pick Your Team 4 in the store right now. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Let's do a quick little recap. And hopefully we'll see you a little bit later tonight um, for, for that second half on JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. My name is Joe. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I will see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.